So these oven grills are behaving like crossed polarized filters. Now light cannot pass through these crossed filters. You see how the rope isn't moving on the other side? That's because the up and down motion of the light is cancelled out by the first filter and the left to right motion of light, well, the second filter is removing that. So ultimately this would look black. No light can go through crossed Polaroids. So I'm going to play the role of an LCD, a liquid crystal, in a liquid crystal display between these two crossed Polaroids. So let's imagine the light's coming in left to right and as the liquid crystal, I'm going to change its polarization to up and down. So now the light can get through. The left and right is changed into up and down uh, motion by the action of the liquid crystal. So you can stop there. So what does that look like? Well, if we had a calculator, it just looks like, uh, looks like this. It's just a blank calculator screen. The light is uninterrupted. But start again. If you put electricity through the uh, liquid crystal, that being me, then what happens is I stop doing my job and now light cannot pass through these crossed Polaroid filters because its plane of rotation hasn't been changed. Oh, it's like the ghost in the classroom. Jeez. Its plane of... Its plane of rotation has not been changed, and so light cannot pass through, and it appears black on the calculator. So let me show you what that is. So it looks like those numbers there. So let's look at a diagram of the setup of this LCD. Notice we have zero volts, and the light is going through and being twisted by the liquid crystals. So the polarizers, make sure light of only one polarity goes in, gets rotated by the crystals and comes out the top polarizer. The treated glass, well that lines up those liquid crystals into that spiral shape that moves the light through and out the other side. Now if I switch on the voltage, and about one volt is needed, not much, what will happen is the polar liquid crystals will line up between the plates and they will no longer rotate that polarized light. So the display is now on. This is called a twisted pneumatic geometry, that spiral structure that can be broken by the application of a voltage. So here's a couple of uh, broken Lego Dujima flips. Uh, and they've got liquid crystal display, so I took one out and broke it apart. And you can see there's the glass, the specially treated glass that aligns the liquid crystals. And here's some polarizers, and if I put another one on top, you can see that on the left the polarizers are crossed, so the light can't get through. But on the right, uh, they're aligned in the same orientation, so light can pass through.